In this video, we're going to be looking at moving place values, whether it's 10 times as much, 100 times as much, one tenth of. So when you move up the place value chart, you're getting larger. So you're moving by 10. So times 10, it gets bigger, times 10, it gets bigger, times 10, it gets bigger. But if you're moving down the place value chart, it gets smaller. So you're going to divide by 10, it gets smaller, divide by 10, it gets smaller, divide by 10, it gets smaller. Now we can show dividing by 10 as one tenth of. Just another way to say divided by 10. So 600 is one tenth of this number. Remember, if it's being divided by 10, it's smaller. So 600 is smaller, one place smaller than 6,000. You'll notice the zero is different, right? I have one fewer zero. So dividing by 10 takes away a zero. 20 is 10 times as much as this number. So 20 is bigger than this number. If I were to multiply 20 by 10, I get 200. We've now added a zero. Multiplying by 10 adds a zero. Dividing by 10 takes away a zero. Let's look at a few other examples. Here I have 4,000 is blank times four. So we need to figure out how we got to 4,000. What will we multiply four by to get to 4,000? We have three zeros. We could multiply it by 1,000 with three zeros. So 4,000 is 1,000 times as large as four. Another example, 8,000 is blank times 80. Let's see the difference of zeros. I have three zeros here one zero there. So there's a difference of two zeros, which means it's 100 times larger. Try and think of it in terms of zeros. Are you going up the place value chart? Are you increasing zeros? Are you going down the place value chart? Are you decreasing zeros?